Okay, uh, here I am once again in the 2006 Altima with the four-cylinder 2.5 liter engine. Uh, recently got a check engine light. Uh, my wife was driving and um, light came on. Uh, then she stopped somewhere and the car wouldn't start. So um, I checked the codes. There were two codes. One said that, uh, or one indicated that the camshaft position sensor was bad and the other indicated that there was an airflow ratio problem. Um, don't remember the, uh, the camshaft position sensor error, but the current, uh, by the way, I, re I replaced the sensor and that one cleared up and has not come back since I replaced the uh, sensor. Uh, and I bought a um, Duralast from AutoZone for that part. It's got a lifetime warranty. I've heard stories that they only last a few months or they only last a few days. So far it's been in, I guess, a week and it's still working. But uh, with lifetime warranty and it's not difficult to get to, um, I figured it was worth the gamble. So anyway, I'll keep everyone up to date on that as, as we progress with this um, problem. The current problem is uh, P2A00 is the code I'm getting and that's air to um, airflow ratio is incorrect. Um, right online, everybody said that the most common problem for that would be the airflow, uh, mass airflow sensor on the intake. So I blindly replaced that. I did get a Nissan part for that. Got it on eBay for a very good price, and it was a new one. Um, <clears throat> did not fix the problem. Um, I haven't gotten the error again, but I know it's going to come back because the uh, short trim, short term trim, fuel trim. Let me say that again. The short fuel trim numbers are pegging at 25% after the car warms up and it's idling. Uh, you can look at the grams per second, and it's showing about between 2.5 and 3 grams per second at 750 um, we'll, we'll call it 800 rpm it's it's close to 800 rpm it's like 775 so i think that number is correct um with the with the engine displacement uh the voltage on the o2 sensor bank one the upstream sensor which is the one that they that is used to check for the airflow ratio um it is reading 0.27 to 0.29 um, independent of RPM so I should have done that first before just blindly blindly ordering the part but this car has 156,000 miles on it and it's old it's, it's approaching 20 years old so I figured I'd replace it anyway uh, and hope that it would fix it but it's looking very much uh, like the upstream voltage sensor is bad so that's the analysis i i also did a check for um in, intake leaks and what i did there was i um, got a can of intake cleaner and i sprayed it all on the outside of the intake um all over the rubber pieces and and all the interfaces and the engine with the engine running and i was what i was doing was i was looking for an increase or or change in the um, engine rpm uh, it should increase if it sucks in that stuff because that stuff burns very violently more so than gas so the engine will run faster and I, I saw no indication that the engine ran faster so I more or less uh, concluded though I do not have an intake leak so um, O2 sensor it is I'll be replacing that and I'll let everyone know how that goes